So let me just um, introduce Pastor uh, Pastor um, Ronnie Venas. Pastor Ronnie Venas is the youth director of um, West uh, Indonesia. Um, she has he has been um, involved in uh, many, of course, many uh, programs of the uh, West Indonesia, and uh, also he has uh, handled creative. Uh, programs for youth like uh, the one that really uh, I appreciated uh, one of the programs he ha uh, had was the sign language um, that uh, has brought uh, the church into lim limelight uh, because uh, of uh, limelight uh, because of uh, the, the ministry they are doing for uh, those who are in need especially the deaf one so and also uh, um, he is uh, a leader that is being sought by uh, by not only in in the union but spe especially the the uh, in Jakarta conference. Um, he is a troubleshooter as well, and we praise the Lord that God has been uh, using him in several uh, programs uh, leading our young people in West Indonesia. So uh, supposed to be it's Ellen who will give uh, her, uh, him the introduction, but I don't know why Ellen uh, is not around. So, uh, but uh, we know uh, that Pastor um, Ronnie Wenas will be able to bless us with uh, his experience as a leader uh, in the youth ministries and also in other departments he handled in West Indonesia. Pastor Wen uh, Wenas, the time is yours. Thank you, Pastor Ron. Thank you for the opportunity that I will present one of the lessons. This is a six uh, for the senior youth leaders. Tell the truth. This is the first time for me to give presentation in English. <laughs> Listen to my presentation. Please uh, uh, apologize me that if not uh, perfect, it's okay for you. Okay, uh, I will for the presentation I just uh, got from GC uh, Seven Athletics Youth uh, website. So may I share now? Okay, uh, for the seminar six, uh, this is uh, talking about the church planning, developing a purpose driven model for youth ministry in the local church. I think this is uh, one of the important in in this uh, seminar because if we don't have plan, we plan to fail, yeah. But when we have plan, we have uh, something to reach or something to develop uh, for the prog youth program. The seminar objective uh, objectives is assist the leader to plan a yearly model for the youth of the church how to implement the key Adventist youth ministry objectives of the local church within the four dynamics areas that grew the early New Testament church, growth, worship, community, and service. And stress the fact that Adventist youth ministry primarily focuses on Jesus, the master youth leader. So every program we have focus to bring the young people to see Jesus in his life. How to annually the major youth objectives for their conference, union and division. And the last one is assist the leader to implement the current revisioning of the general conference after youth ministry department to save our youth through the initiative of reach in, reach out and reach up. And I think this is uh, always a uh, change like before is identity yeah leadership and uh, mission yeah reach in reach up uh, reach up reach in and reach out i think uh, is a uh, same yeah but now is spiritual growth and leadership and mission following jesus purpose the youth leader needs uh, to understand that it all begins 
with a focus on Jesus as the muscle leader who has given us a basic model to follow that transcends time. Christ's life on earth gives the true model to save lost youth and user them into the kingdom of God, modeling them into disciples of Christ while living in this sinful world. So all begins with focus on Jesus. So this is uh, the important for when we want plan program, we remember that all begins of focus on Jesus. Yeah. Christ's method, uh, the best, Christ's method of fulfilling, fulfilling his mission on earth was very purposeful and practical. Likewise, there is a need for youth leader to become purposeful in the way we lead our youth. Yeah. Becoming purposeful involves a sense of urgency in the way we live and work. What made Jesus successful was his connection with heaven to carry out his mission. The promise Jesus gave to his disciples before his ascension to heaven is exactly the same promise youth leaders can accept today as his last day disciples hastening his soon coming. What is this? But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Power Dynamics Bible uh, Forces is in Luke chapter 6, verse 12 until 17, a day in the life of Jesus. The first, verse 12, he went out on the mountain's side to pray. He spent the first hours of his day in communion with the Father. We will identify that a personal spirituality or disciples. So when we want to plan, yeah, uh, the first one we, we have to see like Jesus, we have to pray. Yeah. The second, verse 13, when the morning came, he called his disciples to him and those 12 of them, strengthened by his communion with the Father, he next sought the company of his 12 disciples. The Christians was never meant to live in isolation. God is community. Jesus saw us the way to community. And the third verse 17, he went down with them and great number of people. He had come to hear him and be healed. Together, Jesus and his disciples spent the rest of the day in service, in the proclamation and demonstration of the kingdom of God. This is true service and mission. And the fourth as uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 20, uh, 42 until 47, a day in the lives of the early Christians. The, uh, the picture about uh, four dynamics, biblical forces. The first is grace, and then after that, uh, service to community and worship. Youth ministry programming cycle uh, model, the local church, yeah. Yeah, like uh, the first is friend evangelism yeah and the second worship and the third is community and discipleship and love in action every program when we plan remember that the ends of this program must be service and uh, mission yeah. this is uh, that we have to remember when we make the program or planning how the Adventist youth model is applied. The meeting model. Yeah. Plan for your weekly meeting to be your front door for evangelism. Consider your regular Adventist youth meeting, youth group or small group meeting as an event that will have multiple targets. Minister to non-Adventist youth. Minister to Adventist youth who are nominal and minister to Adventist youth who have made a commitment to Jesus. While your message and method are clearly defined and our three foundation are firmly in place, these targets will define and determine the nature of your programming. Elements of the Adventist uh, youth ministry meetings relevance develop a sense of belonging. Make it attractive 
yeah, and participants use a variety of methods throughout the year. We live in the age of technology and wherever possible, use the technology in the context of your meetings. Yeah. So we emphasize that uh, we can use uh, technology, yeah, that the needs of the young people in this uh, in this uh, ages, yeah, that you know that maybe we live in the uh, era of uh, uh, different different uh, culture of the young people, yeah, yeah. according to your uh, area or your culture in your place. However, always remember and the foundation of youth ministry and always be purposeful in your programming. Yeah. Core elements that are generally present in whatever type of meeting you choose to run. First is creative and not repetitive. Second, re relationally best and warm. And third, grounded in practical Bible teaching relevant to the theme of the day. Fourth is based on involvement and interaction, and E anointed in prayer. So you know the young people need uh, we involve them, yeah, not be passive when they attend this program. Yeah, this is a very interesting for the young people, I think. And remember, don't forget uh, uh, in pray every program. I always tell to the coordinator of the program. And when I have a plan, I always tell, please pray. Yeah, like uh, Alan is a coordinator of praying in West Indonesia Union Mission. I I always talk to her if I have a program. Yeah, I talk, please uh, pray this program. That not only a program we run, but we need the Holy Spirit to lead this program. Meetings are generally constructed around a, a theme. Uh, a content, a number of elements that include welcomes, prayer, songs, icebreakers, and quiz, interaction, role, etc. Oh, however, there is a main segment that can be presented in a number of different ways, such as was first formal presentation by someone who has some insight on the theme, and second debate on the theme, and the third team presented to be discussed in a small group followed by reporting and summing up. I just come from uh, North Sumatra mission. I make it this uh, uh, formula, yeah. I give the formal pre presentation and they debate and they uh, discuss in the small group. Yeah, and it's very interesting for the young people doing that. The four mus musical meeting best on the team. And a team to be role played by different groups, followed by this discussion. And the sixth, a presentation of a drum. Developing community, an essential foundation of youth, of your youth ministry. We need to develop the community, growing up, growing into deeper spirituality. Discipleship, youth ministry begins and ends with service and mission. Remember that. Remember that youth ministry always begins and ends with service and mission. Total youth involvement, pass it on. Yeah, reach up, reach in, and reach across. Yeah, reach up for the love of Christ compels us. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, verse 14, and spiritual renewal through worship, prayer, meditation, spirit of prophecy, Bible study, other Bible practices. This program usually when we plan, it, it is uh, in the beginning of the year. Yeah, like I think we will have to start in January and reach in. Yeah, by this, everyone shall not that you are my disciple if we love another. John chapter 13 and verse 35. Community through small groups, adventurers, pathfinders, ambassadors, teen ministry, supportive groups public campus ministry, young adults, involving relational, incarnational, intergenerational. Yeah, yeah. this program, we, we have to start uh, maybe in February. Yeah, we can start it, yeah, before we prepare in January. 
sometimes in the mid of the year when the church are not uh, develop this program we can develop like a, a public campus ministry because you know uh, some uh, uh, students come in in the in that area in june and july yeah we can start on in the midst of the year reach out yeah reach out the gospel to all the world in my generation tell the world mission service true public evangelism small groups Personal evangelism, reclaim Adventist volunteer services, service projects, church planting, web evangelism. Yeah, we can start in March. Yeah, you know, then uh, Pet Finder days we have a community service, or we can start uh, for the preparation for the Voice of Youth. Yeah, I think March we can start and we can. Uh, uh make again in in the in the mates and after that in the quarter three yeah or quarter four this uh we can do it uh, for the public evangelism according to our experience in west indonesia union mission this is the center of love and forgiveness jesus is our center of empowerment as the father has sent me i am sending you receive the holy spirit his purpose to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 4, verse 43. His message, the kingdom of God has come near. His method, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. His prayer that all of them may be one. The three principles reads up, verse 12. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountain set to pray and spend the night praying to God. Reads in, yeah, when the morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also dis decided uh, apostles, 14 uh, Simon, who, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, and etc. And this out, yeah, verse 17, he went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there, and a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem, and from the coastal region around Tyre and Sidon, 18 who had come to hear him and to be healed by, of their diseases. Those troubled by impure spirits were cured. And verse 19, and the people all tried uh, to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. This is the model, yeah. It's the word, yeah. Reform and re uh, revive and reform and leaders leadership empowerment, yeah. Give them the key. Adventist Youth Mission, our mission to lead young people in a saving relationship with Jesus and help them embrace his call to discipleship. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, I think uh, Pastor Ron has uh, bring our vision and mission in GC. I think we have a just from this uh, sentence. Yeah, our motto, the love of Christ compels us. Our aim, the Advent message to all the world in my generation. Our theme is, uh, oh, this is uh, different. Yeah, uh, I will go now. Yeah, maybe the last one in Joshua first. Uh, Joshua chapter 1 and verse 7 until 9. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law of my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it then you will be proposed and successful. Have, it, have, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Uh, this Sabbath, I uh, just uh, lead the, from the young people and the, the, the deaf people, yeah, the worship. You know, this is the plan that we have uh, now. God give uh, our opportunity. Yeah, that's these deaf people. They are before is not a seven Adventists, but now through the planning of this program, one of the 
uh, reach out is reach the, the deaf people that will make the senior youth leader and with the master guide to involve them to uh, do this ministry. And then we have now the, the Church of the Deaf People in West Indonesia Union Mission. And now we have baptized about 12 uh, deaf people uh, because the minister of the young people by master guide and some of uh, senior youth leader. Okay, thank you. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Ronnie Wenas, for uh, inspiring us and to go on with our uh, planning for our activities in the church. It is indeed, there is a famous quotation that says, failure to plan is pl planning to fail. So, Pastor, thank you so much. And we hope that everybody in this um, Zoom will be, you know, uh, doing this reach up, reach out, and reach in program so that we can uh, continue our pro uh, ministry for the young people. So before anything else, we'd like to give our token of appreciation to Pastor Rona, Ronnie Wenas. Uh, the Southern Asia Pacific Division Adventist Youth Ministries proudly present this Certificate of Appreciation to Pastor Ronnie Wenas as West Indonesia Union Mission Youth Director for sharing his precious time and expertise on the topic church planning. To the Adventist Youth of the Southern Asia Pacific Division during the Senior Youth Leaders Training, given this 23rd of July during the SYL 10 hour seminar held on Zoom, signed by our SSD youth servant, Pastor Ron Henebago. And uh, we are opening our uh, session for our question and answer. Again, Pastor uh, Ronnie, thank you so much. And we invite Pastor uh, Ron and Pastor Ronnie to join us for our Q&A. Okay, so we have here questions that we were not able to uh, finish a while ago. First one, Pastor, how do we deal with church leaders and elders who are not oriented with the youth ministries program? Maybe we can ask Pastor Ronnie yeah. first. Okay, Pastor Ron. Yeah, not only elders cannot concern, not concerned about the youth ministry. Sometimes, you know, pastors. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I found the many, uh, not many, a few churches like that. But remember, we can uh, invite the uh, youth leader from conference and the youth leader, uh, the, the conference uh, director, youth leader, will bring their team and make a, uh, uh, like a simulation of the program and make the interesting program in that in that church. So after that, maybe the uh, youth leader, uh, I mean the director of a conference or mission, we talk to the pastor and the elders. Yeah, sometimes like do like that. I do in when I was in Jakarta local conference I youth, as a youth director. So I come with my team and I introduce what the interesting of this program and what the purpose of the youth ministry program. So they will support after that. That's the experience. Thank you so much, Pastor Ronnie. Pastor Ron? Yeah, uh, that, that, that question is really interesting. Um, it's not only a question, but I think a challenge for us. I think we need, uh, yeah, Pastor Ronnie is right. We need to, to uh, have orientation for pastors. Uh, why not conduct a SYL for pastors, right? Uh, in, in, in the Philippines, at least, uh, every pastor uh, should be a master guide mm. in, other, in Indonesia. Here in the Philippines, you cannot graduate or you cannot be regular if you are not master guide. The same is true with teacher. So it's like a, a, a must but not all are SYL. I think we can first introduce SYL in the in universities and colleges mm -hmm. as we do have in uh, for master guides. Since this is 
since we we only have junior youth in in college in in college and universities we need to have also the senior youth so i, I need we need to take note of this uh uh one we need to introduce this in colleges and also uh, universities uh, let me just take note of that uh youth ministry for elders and uh, pastors and syl for universities syl for colleges and universities yeah because uh colleges and universities we have so many universities uh in indonesia and in uh in uh, other unions so so we need to introduce this uh, especially those who are taking pastors uh, theology so probably we can work with the education department mm -hmm. also education department and uh yeah ministerial department so we can uh, minister secretary so we can uh have because they are the one in charge for elders and pastors yeah in a level of ssd i think we cannot do this uh but i think we can uh, for the union directors uh we can arrange for uh, a youth um youth ministries certification for pastors and elders so if you want to have that uh, certification we can we can you know support you and help you i think uh in the conference level and we can go and reach out to them this is really crucial uh, uh, because they are leading our churches and if they know at least uh, how to run the youth ministry if uh, as a pastor it will give boost to our uh, to our uh, ministry i think that question is really enlightening and uh, challenging <laughs> challenging yeah amen thank Sir, you I, may i ask uh, uh, i add some uh, uh, actually, I have uh, uh, talked to the uh, Ministerial uh, Association Secretary that we will work together to promote the youth ministry because the youth ministry is different uh, before because sometimes uh, yes, some yes, of the right. youth leaders or uh, pastors and elders, sometimes they think, oh, uh, a 20 youth ministry like this, like this. But now it's different. So that's why I want to introduce true uh, Assistant Secretary Minister, but Pastor Rudy is uh, going <laughs> to ask yeah, uh, Pastor Rudy. Pastor yeah. Rudy, I actually contact, uh, talked with Pastor uh, Wendell, uh, with yeah. Pastor Wendell already, the, the previous Ministerial Secretary about this, and he said, yeah, you just uh, contact and then the yeah. local, local uh, you know, union uh, directors to have this seminar. But I think we have the new one. I have not, I have not met him yet. Uh, the new, uh, I think but, he's a young, young, uh, young person, a young uh, attitude also. I think we can, we can ask him to help us educate the pastors. Yeah, he's but from. Got, sir, he is uh, before a youth director in West Java before uh, a secretary. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Very good. So help me, help me. Let, let's, <laughs> ask, let's let's influence him and then let's, <laughs> let's ask him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to help us uh, educate also the the, the pastors regarding yes. this, yeah Ta you know collaboration i think that would be a, an interesting one thank you pastor Ron. you're welcome pastor there's another question here where can we buy the ay ba badge or maybe for the syl if we have yeah we'll discuss about the uniform as well uh it's just it's in the syl manual Enjoy. But at least um, you can have the uniform. Uh, later we will discuss it, and then um, um, you don't need to wait for for uh, for investiture to have your uniform. You can have it, uh, but of course the investiture services should be done uh, after a year. Yeah. So as of now we have some materials, and we just uh, uh, we approved that uh, it should be the union. Who will order okay not uh the conference so if the conference need uh you know need these materials contact your union director so the union can can order for you amen thank you so much and uh yeah we don't have any more questions here so later so thank um, you so much pastor ronnie pastor ron for the question and answer